my other phone so that way I can see the comments and stuff like that. There we go. <laughs> I, I don't have that many. Just three. Just, it's just three. Yep. All right. Let's see. What's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarkuche. What's up, Four Life? How you doing, boss? I've got some reels. You want to bring in that reel? You know, we can do it real quick. It's it's at home, I got it. Oh, I thought you had it here. I was no, like, no, let's, no. let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I'll bring it by tomorrow if you want to do this again. Yeah, you can get a good video out of it. I, don't well, think, I haven't seen any of your videos if you have any of this first generation international law. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if you do or not. I tried to film a food to see if you did, but I didn't see any. Well, also, too, I didn't really label them correctly. I was labeling them the way I thought they should have been labeled instead of just leaving them, you know, with the name of the reel and stuff like that. So I was just kind of going off of what I saw in the picture of what reel it was. And I saw International 2s and stuff, but I never saw any of the first generation ones. Hmm. Well, that would definitely be cool for the library for sure. So. And I'm talking one of them, the 50 white, is before they even started painting the uh, red and white. Wow. On the real. And then the other one is literally the first year they did the red. Oh, man. So, y'all going fishing or what are y'all doing? Yeah, we're going to check it out. Where, where y'all going to go to? No clue. I'm thinking uh, probably close to where we were last time. Last time I was down by the jetty. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to go down there. Yeah, we're going to go down there. Oh, okay. Uh, on the beach. Yeah. Okay. They've been uh, biting real good over on Cosway. Well, we went the last couple of nights. It was dead. Well, we went last night and we got, I don't know, probably 50 or 60 black drum. Last night? Yeah. Damn, the one night I decided not to go. Yeah. But all day long, they didn't report nothing from Causeway. We got black drum, uh, more sand trout than I can count. So they're in. Yeah. Causeway Pier? I mean... I didn't say Causeway Pier, I just said Causeway. I have a spot on the bridge. So this guy, we need to throw him out of the shop now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know the coastal turnaround right there? Yeah. That's where we were getting him, right there. They, uh, several guys were over there during the day and ended up leaving because they didn't have yeah, any bikes. Robert went over there. Mm -hmm. did, did, he do it? Did, did he do any good? No, him, Ponsa, and Xander. Uh, they went over there and they didn't catch nothing. Or yeah. at least he didn't report anything. True, yeah, true. So now y'all just gotta go try out my land cut spot. <laughs> well, I mean the invite is there, we'll go. <laughs> so last time I went there we um uh two day two person limit of trout and every single redfish except three of them were thirty four plus inches. Mm. And we caught all of that within an hour. Nice. Yeah. It's a good spot. Yeah. I won't say no to an invitation for sure. All right, so real quick, guys, what this customer wants me to do, this is Alexa 300. He wants me to do a 50-yard inner core just to give him a uh, heads up of when he's getting down spooled or whatever, or also, too, when he needs to start re-spooling because he says he only uses 50 foot at a time to target the fish he's going after. So he wants me to load it up, and then when he hits that marker, then he'll know that he needs to send it back in to get filled up back up again i was like man that's pretty smart i didn't think of it in that sense but that's pretty cool so real quick we got four life got homer steve owens daniel jacked up leatherworks what's up guys it is wednesday wednesday we got yep wednesday the 15th we got mr john darnell in the house uh, brought a bunch of reels for us to get spooled up uh, we got some other reels that have been shipped into us to get spooled up. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Since I only got two colors in the 65, I'm double checking right now. And I'm going to make sure that's all I have. Just so I can kind of, ooh, I do have red. But I don't know if that's 50 yards. That might be 50 yards. No, need to find out because otherwise it's going to be sitting on there and not getting used. And here's a prime prime example of when able to when to be able to use it. So yeah, 
Yeah, I know today's been one of a hellacious morning to start with. And what is all this? Hold on. Let me get this sorted real quick if I can get this thing in here. Alright, there we go. Zero at that. If I can get this under there, these small reels are <laughs> definitely will te we'll test your uh, finger your finger dexterity. Oops. Is this 50? This looks way too thick. Hold on, let me check something. Okay, that's no, that's not. You want it 65. That's way thicker. Nope, not gonna do that. Oh, that got off there. Probably took that off one of the reels and put it on there and forgot about it. Yep, more than likely. So, yeah, I'm down to those two colors. So what I'll do is I'll do the inner core of this orange 65, and then I'll do the outer core of this green chartreuse 65, and on the other reel, I'll swap them out. I'll do the inner core the opposite way. The beauty of the holocore. So, hmm. Out. So, how is everybody's day going? This is a very trying month for us. We have hit many hurdles and crossed over them. You know, me and a bunch of the guys and customers are kind of talking in here of everything that's going on. And the one thing we are grateful to um, be able to say is that we're still alive, we're still able to take a breath. So, so we all did. We just took a deep breath and just kind of um, did that, you know, because you got to take your little blessings when you can get them. So I hope every, everybody else is doing good and everything's going great. But if it's not, then definitely just sit back, take a breath, guys, because there's a lot of other people that cannot do that today. So, um, you know, it still, still means you got a fighting chance to get back where you need to be, step up to where you need to grow. All right, guys, y'all have a good one. Yep. And uh, we'll see how it goes from here. Um, do, I got 16 people watching. I got five thumbs up on my end. Oh, okay. I was missing out on a bunch of the, uh, the comments there. For some reason, the phone did not upgrade. And we got Chubby Brothers Barbecue in the house. Yes, sir. Edgar, what's up, Mr. Carl Moon? How you doing? Hi, man. There we go. There we go. Yeah. What's up, Camilo? How y'all doing? It is. Yeah. It's been an 18-hour day. It <laughs> just got started. Oh my gosh. So, but this little reel. I mean, my fingers are so big it barely fits in there. Let's see if we can get this going. That's when you start getting the kids in here. Use some of that child labor. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. But they're up in school right now. they got to get their education. Yeah, I know. i got Delmar before too much longer. What, today? or? Yeah, today. There you go. Continuing education is a great thing, man. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so even with the line counter, when I was moving this, it was already... Um, adjusting the line counter right there and feet uh, that's gonna be pretty cool so we'll see how this goes but it's going backwards right now or does it count both ways you see the line counter guys it's I'm pulling opposite of the way it needs to be done I think they do go both ways well what I mean is go both ways but when you pull it the right way does it take it back down or does it add on no but it no it does take it back down that one makes a pretty good light counter right? okay okay i was just i was just making sure you know so when you drop it down it it counts how much it goes down and from there so this is telling me i need to zero it out once i get the knot where i need it to be so it can correctly Oh yeah, it was going negative, that's what it was. So, zeroed out there, locked in, uh, reset, down, okay. So you gotta push it away from you. 
I was trying to push it in. I don't know. Never dealt with one of these rules, so there we go. Come down upstairs and hi, Carl. It'd be nice to see you again, boss, for sure. And uh, you gonna come down for the weekend or just for a day trip? Now the fishing is really starting to go off. So this is going backwards because I zeroed it out and it's going backwards for the amount of line that's going in there. I wonder if maybe it reads it through the level line. It'd be weird if it did. But... Well, no, because if I free spool it it, it, it goes the opposite way. Oh, so it's it's meant to only read when the when so, the line is dropping yeah, whenever line's going out I'm ah going okay so that way it could tell you exactly how far down you are yeah okay well that 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 threw me for a loop right there i'll use my camera around so it threw me a little bit too hmm. So at this amount, it's really not going to give them a whole lot of line capacity because we're coming up on 50 yards. There's 50 yards right there. So he wanted 50 yards and then he wanted the rest topped off with another color. Granted, he's only using 50 feet at a time. It's not going to take much for him to break off to get to that color change again you know what I mean so maybe one or two breakoffs might have to talk to him and tell him to go 25 yards and and go from there so um, let's see All right, that's cool. Well, let me let me get on the phone, guys. I, I need to maybe he can look on the channel while we're here. Get it done. Let me grab my other phone. Give me a second, guys. But. Uh, What's up, Alfredo? How you doing? Let's see. Keep that. Mm -mm -mm. How you doing, boss? This is Albert with Hard Life. I was looking for Jeffrey. All right, boss. So I'm spooling up your 300 right now, and um, I'm live on the channels. So if you can get on there, it'll really help me explain what's going on. With the 50 yards that I put on there, the 65 on the 300, you're already pretty much at half a spool filled. So, you, so you may only get like 150 yards on this reel the way it's looking of the 65. So. I, I understand that what I'm what I'm uh, gonna give you something to think about is because you said that you were gonna use this as a line setter to let you know okay maybe I need to send it back now to re-spool it so I was thinking maybe doing 25 yards of that and then the rest of the other colors since you're not using that much at a time Okay. Okay. Yeah. No. I just I'm I'm, I'm taking in what you're you're saying and, and and trying to put the best way I can spool it up to help you for the long run because that would ensure that you have more times that you could break off rather than you know like two or three times right now and then okay I'm hitting that line I got to send it back this one will give you like four to six break offs before you have to send it back.
Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, what I'll go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go ahead and finish pulling it up right here just so we get a line uh, capacity. And we're also learning things about the reel too, like how the line counter works and stuff like that because I thought it automatically started counting feet of how much is on the reel. And actually it sends it into the negative and it'll start counting feet in the positive once you send it out. I'll, I'll still be on uh, so if you want to get on live uh, we'll be here but I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna go and finish it off just so I can get a line capacity then I'll strip it down and then start doing the the other uh, uh, line capacities and stuff because I've got I think I got I got 30 pound got 80 pound got 100 pound but I think 80 pound will probably be the max on the 300 just because of the size of the reel uh, yeah All right, well, let me go and get back to the live, <laughs> and then uh, we'll, we'll definitely check it out. And yeah, if you can get on, I'll, I'll be on for a while because I'm going to spool up a bunch of other reels, too. Right, yes, yeah, sir, you have a good one. Bye-bye. All, right. All right, guys, so yeah, that's, that deal, what I was pitching was to, because instead of the 50 yards, we're going to do 25 yards, because what he wants to do is use this as his inner guide that when he breaks off and he starts seeing that color change, that it's time for him to send back the reel so we can put a new top shot on it. Well, if it's at 50 yards and we only get, say, 100 yards more, he's going to hit it a lot quicker, and there's really not that much line to add on, you know, so it wouldn't really be cost-effective if we did it that route. So I'm going to go and fill it up just so we get a line capacity of what we can get on this type of reel, and then we will go from there. So, yeah, but definitely learned something new about the, the reel and the line counter. I've never had line counters on my reel, but this one's definitely something new to, to look at and or into. And I guess I could see why they did it that route, because sitting there trying to subtract math and add math, yeah. you know, by just zeroing it out from when you start is actually a good thing, so. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Okay, hold on. Hello? Uh, breakfast a while ago, but I'm sitting here spooling reels. I got like four, I got seven of them to spool up. And I'm live on the YouTube right now. Uh, what time are you trying to go? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. All right. Like, well, it looks like my brother's going to take me out for lunch. For my eight day. He's been trying to take me out for like a week now for my birthday and it hasn't worked out because of everything I've had going on and or he he's had it going on. So I came out with 122 yards. So most definitely doing it, taking it back down to the 25 yard mark and giving him the 100 yards to kind of play with because yeah, I can do 125 on this, no worries. But again too, he's gonna be using the worm guide so it may expand it just a little bit, but it's still got room to play on it, so. Um, I've caught some big fish on 125 yards of line before. Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I mean, I've done those six foot alligator gar in like 30 yards. <laughs> One of my biggest fish I've ever caught was caught on a, uh, you know, those $30 Shimano Stellas? Yeah. It was caught on a 2500 size one of those with 10 pound mono on it. Jeez. And I caught a 40 inch redfish with that. That is awesome. Yeah. 
What's up, John Holiday? Hope everything's going good for you, brother. And uh, I was thinking about you the other day. I, I still haven't sent my knife in, and that's that's because I've been. Uh, I need to get a couple a couple knives so that way I can, I guess, interchange them as 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 I'm sending them to you to get re 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 uh, rehoned out. I guess is the proper verbiage to use for uh, sharpening a knife. You know, so. Um, but yeah, we're here doing this and I've got somebody that's going to be sending me some videos pretty soon of their own spooling machine too there, uh, John, you might have some serious competition on this, man. <laughs> yeah. Don't underestimate my Ryobi drill. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I think, I think it's going to be on, challenge on. And you know what guys, I was talking with one of my other, um, buddies here and we're t thinking about trying to you know raise money here at the shop but also to you know get everybody in the channel involved and uh you know we're thinking about the tournament and stuff and right now i just with everything i got going on it's real hard to put the amount of time that it takes to run a tournament and get it done but i was thinking of maybe other fun ways for us to um, get everybody involved you know and uh I'm looking at things, you know, and maybe or, you know, somebody come up with a cool way to, you know, spool up reels and stuff, you know, make it fun, or you know, fishing tactics of how to get some somebody to watch your rod while you're you're away or whatever. I mean, just you know, let's let's spitball some ideas and see what we can come with come up with to help uh, help boost some video foot. Uh, viewage and also some funds here in the in the shop um one of the things that i was thinking about doing with the tournament obviously if we put one in, on here it would have to be you would have to use the team hard life gear to be in the tournament and the reason for that guys is because i want people to put their tackle to the test i mean that's that's why i fish the way i fish that i mean you see me lock it down and i just i don't give the fish a lot of room to play and it's for multiple reasons, you know, when I'm fighting a fish, I, I'm not trying, ooh, I'm, I don't want to take off the knot, that's right. I'm going to put it at 25 yards and start it again from there. Ooh, I almost messed up. Big old fat fingers trying to get in there. Not a good thing right now. So, you know, what What are y'all's uh, ideas on that? If we were to start a fishing tournament, strictly for YouTube subscribers, and obviously, you know, in the videos that you would submit, and we would have, get it to where you submit them to the email the team hard life number one at gmail.com and um, get it set up that way to get your entries into the tournament for it and you know we'll give you a whole like 12 hours or 24 hours before you can actually start finishing that you pay your entry fee and stuff like that and you know uh, We'll select a mystery object or something like that. You know, everybody will vote on it. I guess we'll get like 10 different mystery objects. Have a, have a vote on it. And then you have to have that mystery object in there on every single photo. So that way, or video that, so that way you can show, hey, it's it's legit during the, the time frame and stuff like that. Because it also will, you know, you can show your baits on there and stuff like that. And it'll, that'll be really cool. And obviously, you know, it's going to be all over the place it's going to be everywhere kind of deal so you would have to follow whatever fishing regulations are in your area but i just think this would be a good way to boost the amount of people on the channel getting more people to be proactive with the videos and and showing where the knowledge and the tackle is going being used for and stuff like that hey turn off the radio please i'm live on youtube I uh, don't want to get hit, hit with a copyright strike. <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they, yeah, yeah they, they, they're really... I just don't know how those other guys do it where they're using copyrighted music on their videos and... Uh, that's called you make YouTube money, so they let you get away with things like that. Well, you know, yeah, true that, true that, so... I'll tell you what, the, uh, one of those reels I'm going to trade some work for is a reel will probably be the only time you'll ever see one. It's a Penn International Six. <laughs> oh, John. 
Give this crew a vote on a mystery object that someone else has to use. It get really interesting real fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with John involved, yeah, that, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know He's all sitting on it. Yeah, he be sitting there. What? I'm not doing nothing. But yeah, huh? Yeah, John, yep. John's got that big Colgate smile going on right now. Oh, I know yeah, he, he is. His mind's That's... a working. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's, the, what's the most inappropriate object I can have? <laughs> well, see, that, that's where we have to be like, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, it can't be something off the back wall of Spencer's. Have to yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So he's a what? I'm a nice guy. <laughs> That's what they all say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard that line before. Yeah. No, but I mean, like I said, guys, if we were to set something up like that strictly for YouTube subscribers, and yes, there would be an entry fee, and yes, we're gonna set it up to to pay out. But obviously, you know, doing a tournament and stuff like that is a lot of work, and. I would have to set it up to where some kind of money would stay here at the shop for us putting it on and stuff like that because I mean that entails everything that I'm already doing and adding more on top of it so right now it's trying to make some money but also trying to set it up to where y'all can make some money and or we can set up prizes in in I guess in compensation for the entry fees you know rod reel combos and stuff like that or you know, have it to where they have an in-store credit for this amount and let them pick and choose what they would like to purchase. I would think what would be a good idea for that would be like uh, have some rod and reel combos that like, oh, you can win this, but also be like, if you don't want that rod and reel combo, you get like in-store credit or something like that where you can choose other things and maybe you can use more so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm def yeah, that, that's one great idea right there. So I'm definitely, like I said, I'm open to the mo to suggestions right now. Because this is something that I know y'all have been asking and asking about. But I think, you know, I finally come to the terms that I need to do something to get everybody involved. And this is be a nice way to finish off the year with a nice tournament. And do it all the way till, say, like the second weekend in Christmas or in, in, in December. <laughs> Christmas, yes, it's month long. Uh, and then that way too, they, this could be their Christmas prize from the Hard Life YouTube channel. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just another thought. I don't know if it costs money to do this or not, but there's an app that they use for tournaments now, where you take a picture of like a fish on a uh, measuring board, mm -hmm. and you can send it in like that, and it will say it won't let you upload old photos. It has to be right in the moment. Mm -hmm. where maybe we can't agree on an object you can do a video and then do that photo through that tournament website and that'll be easy to keep track of who has the biggest fish yada 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 okay repeat that one more time there's this app that i've been seeing they use it a lot of north on tournaments i don't really use as much down here but it's an app and the tournament's hosted on that app and you would take a picture of the fish on like a measuring board mm -hmm. how long it is and such and it will only allow you to take photos in the moment. You can't upload photos from like a photo library, so it would have to be a fish caught then to do that. Well, the, the, the only drawback to that, and I have to stop you there, sorry, not to interrupt, yeah. but that I, I like that where that was going. A lot of the areas that we catch these monster fish are where poor signal is at. Yeah. So, I mean, you might be able to get out of text, but hooking into an app, you know, like Goose Island. I know the other day when I was trying to edit videos like i could edit them but when i was trying to comment and or like just through the app yeah. it wouldn't it was sitting there thinking and yeah. thinking and thinking so that's why i they i had to record it but i also found out that they um for their main the main portion of that tournament if you caught the winning like redfish that it was it wouldn't be allowed because that's the main pot so for black drum it was okay because it was a side pot not for the main pot I was like, wow, I didn't know that because I, I was fishing for reds too, you know, but yeah. I didn't, I, I guess I didn't see the fine print on that. And that would have been on me, you know? Yeah. But, you know, like I said, you know, when you're talking about the app, it, it, it would limit people on where they could fish because some of the best spots don't have good signal. I, I agree with that. <laughs> the only thing I wondered about it, if it, and I don't know for sure because, again, I don't, I've never personally used it, I just know of it being used. Mm. If it works like the Texas Hunt Harvest app, where 
it stores that data to get back to signal and then uploads. I don't know if it does it like that or not. Oh, that is something else we would have to look at. But see, then it's also in the app where it wouldn't be as lively as it would be pushing, putting everything through the channel because obviously once they submit everything into the channel then we could use it through the channel for the channel you know what i mean you say yada 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 I've been hearing that damn commercial. <laughs> the yada, yada, yada. I was like, uh, I never, uh, I never, no, I never, I never hear that, but you said it, and I'm sorry. I had to. You said it, I didn't. I'm going to head over to the school now. I'll probably come back in this week and try to get that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So late because the teacher gets fussy about that. Yeah. All right, boss. You have a All good right. day. You too. I'll see you around. All right. So back to the comments. Yeah, John. John, you 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 got a friend. <laughs> they know your name, bro. The Mr. Rents. True that. What's up, Ray? How you doing? A wood real spooler. Nice. What's up, Ray? All right, guys. So give this crew a vote on a mystery object. <laughs> So what would y'all be interested in doing something like that? Like I said, you know, we can do the mystery object like that to be able to fish. And I'm at 135 yards right here on this reel, right there, of the 65. So I think that's a lot better. Cause like I said, I went ahead and did 25 yards of the inner core. And now I think I have the 25 yards on there to be able to do the inner core on the other reel. Um, he's using this as a setup so that way when he gets low enough on his line capacity he knows exactly how much line he has on the reel and he can send it in to get uh, more line added onto the reel. And then the same process I've been talking about doing a tournament here for strictly for YouTube members only. You got to be a YouTube channel member which means you know you have to follow the fishing rules and regulations also too we're not going to be allowing you know guys that want to trash talk other people or block out areas or you know just you know be mean fishermen we don't we don't need that everybody has enough grief in their life they go fishing to break away from all that so you know unsportsmanlike conduct will not be tolerated and you know proof can be submitted via the phones to the email so that way we can see it you know what i mean and that way everybody knows hey this is why that guy got disqualified or why he was disqualified and um guy or gal you know same thing it don't matter and age don't matter either you know everybody's got to be be on the up and up and i mean obviously kids are gonna act up and be silly there are kids but we also got to draw the line at what age they are allowed to be doing that but for most part most of our subscribers here are 18 or above and you know we can rock in that way so Well, it don't also have to be shark. I mean, we can do different things. Like right now, shark fishing ain't really the big thing. Hold on, guys. I got to... Hello? Oh, too busy to talk to you. Sorry, my home helpers. I'm live on my channel. So, <clears throat> all right. No, I, I would definitely would like to see maybe we can set up different categories you know bass fisherman catfish alligator gar shark you know redfish black drum flounder um obviously you don't want to do um fish that are closed in season because obviously i mean you could still fish for them like here flounder season's closed but you can still fish for them catch them you just have to release them which would be another thing too all the catches would have to sw safely swim off you know, if they turn belly up, then, yeah, they would be automatically disqualified. Uh, unless you show that they, you know, you, you pull them back and you get them to swim off and they swim off. Because, yes, black drum and all of that, even shark will go belly up real quick. We upright them, we get them going, and then they take off and they're good to go. So, yeah, no, it wouldn't be like, oh, belly up, that's it, that's it. No, no, no. 
if they put forth the effort to catch that fish back and revive it and get it going, then I think we should be good to go on that one. But again, guys, you know, I'm, I'm just throwing and brainstorming some ideas out here. I need to see what everybody's thoughts are on that note um, and how many people would be interested in getting to it. So, what's up, CJ? How you doing? You're actually right on time. We've only we've been at it a little bit. I got to spool up one Lexa 300. I'm gonna do the other Lexa 300. If I find the box, yep, got it right here. So yeah, came in a little damaged from shipping, but the reel was good to go. Well. I will, Saturday is supposed to be the distance casting event too. They, they're holding a distance casting deal down in Kingsville for guys that want to learn how to distance cast. It's going to be a, a tournament there. And they're also throwing in a cool division for guys who actually use fishing reels, kind of like me, to do the distance casting. But I'm also going to change it up this time. I'm actually going to get me a, ooh, this is a lefty. Yep, this is a left-handed reel. So, got to remember to go the opposite way on setting this up. Well, this is definitely a lot easier. Now I can stick my finger in there and go. It's not going to work. I crossed over the lines. Needed to stay on one side, so I'll do this again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man, sturgeon and musky. Those, those are definitely two of my bucket list fish for sure. So now that we also, if we did include other species like that, you know, surgeon, mussy, um, alligator gar, we would definitely want to set it up too where each division had, you know, its own pot and stuff like that because obviously some divisions will be, be ah, bigger than the others. And I mean, again, too, this is all about helping the channel grow. So if you know people that would be interested in fishing a tournament like this, we can get them to subscribe to the channel and follow along and that will also help us boost subscribers so this would be a great opportunity to get a bunch of your friends that want to compete each other on this kind of level and i think think we could start it i mean real quick give it give it several weeks you know what i mean start it in a week or so let's see what's today's date today's the 15th Start it next week or the following week. Give it a couple of weeks to, to fish out and stuff like that. So that way those that work longer hours and stuff got a, a weekend or two or three to be able to get out there and fish. And then we set it up. So that way we can get it away sooner. So that way it's there by Christmas kind of deal. Because we definitely got to ensure that Christmas shipping and or if they're here, they can come pick it up in time too for the Christmas holiday. What's up, Lewis? MTZ in the house. What's up, us? So, let's see. Still did it the wrong way, right? No, I did it right. No, I didn't. Let's see. No, I did it wrong. Yep, I did it wrong. Dang it. <laughs> Ah, 
and actually I'd like to get we actually me and John Darnell we were talking about that a little earlier was um, when I was doing the lives on Tuesdays and and, and Fridays um, I'd like to get into doing those again but I'm also caught between a rock and a hard place because I'm trying to get fishing in because if you noticed on the channel I've been doing a lot of fishing lately and what I'm thinking about doing too is uh, on the spooling videos just doing them lives just so I don't have to worry about going back and editing and then the regular uh, lives that I want to do for like giveaways and stuff like that I can get it done so <clears throat> So I went through that way, so let's go through this way. Nope. Nope, I went through there. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm really a little lost right now in what I'm doing. I've got so much on my plate, I'm just trying to remember the exact way I need to put this guy on. And it may seem as, oh, okay, you just go the opposite way. Well, the reel reels in a certain way. And I got to get it right so that way the line will tighten the way it's supposed to. I think it's that way. Yes. We, we, that is something that I would definitely have to talk to him about because, you know, that would be asking him to take on more burden here at the shop and stuff like that. And it's really, it's really hard right now. It really is with the amount of stuff that we got going. Dang it. Also, too, you know, if you notice that when we do have the lives as well, you know, a lot of times Jeff is helping me with the customers that are inbound in the shop, you know, checking them out and stuff like that. So normally when it's a live, it's a two man deal. You know, one person runs the shop and the, the other one, which is me, is on the live trying to handle, you know, what I got to handle with uh, the channel. So, yeah definitely does uh, it's there's a lot of uh, dynamic in play and stuff so we got to keep it right uh, yeah what's up Henry how you doing boss uh, oh that would be awesome to have a man cave I mean shop is nice but it's still you know not really a place where you can get uh, Ooh, sorry guys solitude or whatever so <laughs> well um i know jeff said that he'll do it but it was a certain bottle that he wanted uh, you'd have to go back to that live video to to see if he'll do it um hey jeff do you remember uh they said if you dressed up like santa what bottle you were asking for or whatever The what? Oh. Remember how they were talking about having you dress up as Santa? They said they promised you a bottle if, if you did it? Yeah. I mean, they're, 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 they're trying to... I'm asking which bottle was it that... Because I remember they... Bottles. That's what it was. Uh, that was one from each one of them. Yeah, who's that asking to do it? Robert and Edgar? <laughs> yeah. And Roger. Hmm. I'll prove it. It's half gallons. Okay. Keep it. Alright. $25 at Walgreens. Each. Okay. So both of y'all gonna get it? Okay. Yeah. Now let me know. So, um... Yeah, 
by yards right there. Beautiful. Oh man. My hip is still still kinda hurting. I guess it was sore from the other night I fell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Daniel already firing everybody. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are here. Like I said, troublesh troubleshooting what we can do to try to generate sales at the shop. Um, also, too, get more people involved in the YouTube channel because obviously you already know my plans, guys. It's been a rough road here at the location I'm at, but I definitely am looking forward to try to get a better location for more people to be out and to come and enjoy. And also, too, I got to thinking about it. That other location has a big area and field where we could actually do casting classes out there and take people out to the field and teach them how to cast. Uh, one of our YouTube subscribers was in the other day and was asking about that. And he's like, man, when you start that, let me know. I'm definitely going to show up for it. So, like I said, the faster we can get to the goal of making enough on the YouTube channel, the faster we can move out of here and get to that next level of growth that I'm looking at. Because the other thing, too, that I want to do with that other location is get a bigger storefront. And I'm talking like two or three times the size we currently have. Just because, like I said, it, it I won't have all the headache and everything else that I'm, I'm having at this location at that other one. So definitely looking forward to it and want to take everybody with me. So we definitely need a little extra help from everybody in the channel. And this is one way of doing it. Mm. Yep. And also, too, uh, they have that distance casting this weekend in Kingsville. So if y'all can make it through, it, take your fishing rods because uh, there's going to be a, a, a challenge or a little tournament between the guys of casting an actual rod and reel combo that they use for fishing. And. Uh, there's going to be that little division and then there's going to be the guys that are going to have the super premed up reels for strictly distance casting so i think it'll be real nice to get the guys who claim they can cast you know 100 yards 150 yards with bait and weight out there on a the field to show that they can actually be done and you know compete against those guys because it's awesome you know it will really put the, the cement in the foundation that they're building of what they can do and stuff like that and and or also too to show the guys that ever doubted them hey yeah this dude's legit you know what i mean so we're, we're looking at it and we'll definitely get it there and actually i only got 130 yards on this one so it may be just because the way i'm spooling you know i'm not um I wouldn't say I'm 100% focused on what I got going on because I'm trying. I'm talking to y'all, but I, you know, got some stuff in the background of my mind right now. So, yeah. But it's good to see everybody on the channel. We got jacked up works, uh, jacked up leather works. Sorry, let me get that right. Uh, John Holiday, Curtis C, Lewis MTZ. Um, let's see who else. Mr. Four Life, Henry C. Nesetos. John Darnell got in there as well. Let's see, we had y'all been going at it. Ray Ray Sandoval, Alfredo Fosto. I hope I said that right, and I hope I didn't murder it. Um, and then I know um, the barbecue place. Uh, let me get Chubby Brothers Barbecue. Yep, yeah. and outdoors. Edgar, Carl Moon, Jaime. Camilo. Yep, guys, it's good to see all of y'all on the channel. And yep. Yep. So I'm I'm like I said, I'm I'm going just because it's something that I can easily get to. And it you know it's for hmm. oh, sorry guys. It's for the better part of the day on Saturday and on Sunday. Each day will have its own um, setups and deals like that. So we are looking into what's going to happen with that. But I'm, I'm definitely going to go for the um, 
the regular fishing casting, but I also too want to do a preamed up reel and really concentrate on that cast because now that I've, I've got a better hang of it and understanding of what it's supposed to do, where I'm supposed to be at on my footing and or where the weight's supposed to be, I really truly think that I can break 700 foot on a cast, which is going to be pretty awesome. So. No worries, Edgar. I totally understand that. And again, thank you for being here. I'm um, filling up these 300s. The next one's going to be the 400s. I got two of those that I'm doing. But he wants to go and go with 80 pound on those. So that'll be pretty cool. Let's see what goes there. Let's see. Of this stuff to hang up on. Hmm. What's up, Sean? How you doing, boss? These lefties definitely give me a run for my money. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. Okay. There's another lefty right here. This one's Alex. Alexa 400. I'm 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 all for that, Camilo. Most definitely, I'm I'm ready for that. They are actually setting up the fishing portion of the real or the fishing real portion of this tournament casting is going to be with eight ounce plus a swim bait to mimic having a bait on the hook. So they're going to be doing that, and we're gonna we're gonna really put it to it. But what it's going to be, it's um, any fishing reel that has a clicker can get into that deal. And then you can use any fishing rod, you know, whether it be an improved rod or an old school rod to enter that portion of that tournament. So I'm definitely, definitely game for that. So we've got red for 80. He wants either a bright line or a white line. I got white and I've also got Chartreuse. So I'm going to do one in white, one in chartreuse for the top shots on the Alexa 400s because there's two of them. So we'll see how it goes. And this one I'll go ahead and do the 50 yards because this one looks like a lot bigger reel compared, but we'll see how the uh, 25 yards looks first and go from there. Uh, John, I want to say they did make make it in the red, white, and blue. Um, I just haven't ordered it yet. Um, so it's been really, really slow here for us ever since uh, school took off. <laughs> and then hunting right after that, and now we're prepping up for Christmas. So we'll, we'll definitely... Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, hey John, that's a great idea. <laughs> now though, on that one, they definitely got to get it on video because uh, it's got to be a legit cast. You know, they they go out there and try it because you know I leave my backlashes in the videos and or my break offs, and I do that because I want people to sh see what the real life is of fishing the way I fish or how I fish and not trying to really hide anything, you know, when I backlash or something fails. I mean, that's part of fishing. Something, some way is always gonna fail and uh, just gotta be upfront with it. And I'd rather show all of that than not, so. Get this. All right, guys, so again, I mean, all y'all are on here. How many of y'all would be interested into a tournament to do that? And we would do the prizes as in-store credit kind of deal, because like I said, we're trying to raise money for the shop, but uh, it would also be, you would have to use the Team Hard Life gear to enter the tournament and be sponsor, or, uh, a YouTube uh, subscriber, sorry. <laughs> And also, what divisions would y'all be interested in fishing? I mean, 
it's winter time shark is sharks still can be caught it's just it's putting up with the bad weather and cold weather not many people do I'm sorry guys I'm this week's been hell on us and this morning really took a lot out of me so um, looking forward oops hitting the camera over here come on there we go that's the knot right there that's our anaconda knot guys the reason we use that knot is because it does not slip on the spool there's no reason for us to use any tape and for those of y'all that are new to the channel that's why we do it all right Let me see. See how this goes. Like I say I'm gonna stop at 25 and see where it looks for the line capacity for this because he's using it again to know when he needs to send his reel back in to get more line put on it. So I think this will be a great way to do it. The rest of the guys are using it. All right, there's 26 yards on there, so I'll take off a yard. Yeah, I think the 25 yards is gonna be a lot better number to run on these so that way he's got more fishing in between you know having a race bull and stuff like that if he was using more line then yeah the 50 would be different so oh man <laughs> hmm. camilo that reel i as soon as i can clear up the funds to get that reel from uh for mr abu <laughs> Um, I will definitely, definitely get it. Um, just because it's a beautiful reel. I know he does great work. I just, funding is is really, really tight right now, guys. Um, and it's $200 to get that reel. So it would definitely give me the ability to hit that 700 plus mark if I had that in the collection for sure. And again, too, it's strictly just a tournament reel for distance casting. But I know if... I practice with something like that there's greater chances for me to break 800 feet as well i mean i'm, I'm so close with a regular fishing reel that i you know if i got something like that i really believe that i could hit that you know those further distances no worries that it is yes sir he does some awesome work <laughs> allergies Energy's being a pain. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we definitely, like I said, I'm, I'm learning the styles and techniques from these guys that do it. And I'm applying it to the fishing because that's where I really wanted to see um, see it blow up for us. Because, I mean, being able to hit, you know, 200 yards on a cast means you don't have to get wet on the beach anymore. And this is something that, you know, for a lot of the guys that I've showed how to cast or used to waiting in to cast out, now longer have to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah. Well, definitely, like I said, I'm going to get some footage. Maybe I'll go live on Saturday for that, uh, for that distance casting, maybe for that fishing part of the tournament, just so it'll make it easier for me to get some video out without having to edit a lot of that. Or do you all like the long, the, the shortened version where I speed up through it and just get to the goods? That's something else, you know, I'm trying to accommodate some great video footage but i'm also trying to keep it as real as possible by showing you all the amount of time that is actually invested into making these catches happen and or the videos what's up billy how you doing oh okay <laughs> i guess he made it to college <laughs> there you go so 
Yep, no. Right now what I'm doing is I'm splicing the 80 pound hollow core to the other 80 pound because he wanted this inner core so that way um, when he got down low he knew how much line capacity he had left on the reel and he would send it in to get it uh, re-top shot it. And this is not for when he's fighting a fish to let him know how much line he's got on the reel with, but that's what everybody else is using it for. Like me, I mean I've got some inner cores like this on my reels to help me keep posted on that. John, I'm in the same boat. When I originally heard these guys hitting them distances, I was like, yeah, okay. And so I really got out there and started seeing them. And it was funny because, you know, when, when I did my cast and they did their cast, I, I stopped walking and they just kept going and going and going. And I was like, okay, y'all really got my attention, but how does that work for fishing? So that's where I've been in the transition of using that knowledge and bringing it over here to this. And granted, don't get me wrong, Nick at Breakaway Tackle uh, does it all the time in his videos, but I want to be able to target big fish like on a regular basis, not just like pompano and redfish. And I want to target sharks, kingfish, and Jack Cravel, redfish, you know, the bull reds and stuff like that. So, oh, let's see, get this. So that's 50 yards right there of 80 pound. That's 100 yards. And actually, they just set a new world record for distance casting. They did a thousand and something feet. Uh, and I, I believe it was in South America, uh, if, I, if I remember it right. But yeah, they did a thousand feet, which is 300 and something yards, which is crazy. And I think they did it with an Alvi reel, a big spinning reel kind of deal. So, which is awesome, you know, it is. I want to be able to do that with a bait casting reel. All right, so we're at 181 yards on this one of 80 pound test. Can y'all see that? Yep. There we go. <laughs> I didn't have the drug test. Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Well, like I said, guys, they um, they use uh, the uh, that dang machine that surveyors use, and they can tell tell it down to the inch or half an inch, quarter of an inch. I mean, it's crazy of the equipment they use. So, you know, they they have the set the set point of the aki um, at zero, and then they walk out to each flag and they mark the flag with that that system there. So. It's pretty, pretty dang accurate. <laughs> I saw some deal where they're talking about he couldn't find his way off the stage. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that dude is, oof. We are struggling down here. So, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, don't close down on me. Don't want it to close. There. Yeah, I've, I've heard some some things as well. The guys that are on fixed income, uh, I know one town they approved this school to be built, and one of the guys was talking about how 
guys that are on fixed incomes, man, are going to get, I mean, they're going to be really hurting with all the taxes that are going to be coming out and stuff like that. And you know me, guys, when it comes to fishing, you know, I, 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 I do know a lot of knowledge, but I'm still learning. And like I said again, too, for me to, you know, I knew I was a, uh, I could cast, and it's all because of the guys I'm casting with, with or against on the pier, and you know to see that in person, it just totally blows their mind. You know, and it's definitely something that I know every one of us could really benefit from. So that's why I'm sharing it with y'all for sure. Um, conventional reel for me are the Avids. Um, I grew up pin Shimano, Newell, Luz. Um, shoot, I had. 27 rod and reel combos guys of all different t styles because each reel had its specific function now with the avids they are the most multitasking reels that i have ever had in my collection and as you can tell that's all i like to use because the amount of um, versatility that i get with the reels is it's outstanding and then two you know yes it's they're expensive reels but they do not fluster when they get a little dirty or they're not cleaned or they have some salt water environment exposed to them you know it's it's for me it's a great thing to have a reel that is a tank so that's where i'm at on that as for spinning reels um i've been dealing with this brunkel reel or runkle runkle and i wish the guy would contact me again because it's now you know ten thousand comments later i cannot find the guy that uh sent me the reels because man I would love to try the bigger reels and give him an input of the spinning reel I still have. Still using it, still haven't cleaned it, and it's been like four or five years now. Actually, no, three years. Let me let me let me clear that up. He gave it to he got it to me a little bit right when I started the YouTube channel. And it, and but still it's like ten thousand comments later, easy, so I cannot find where um, the gentleman that sent me that reel, and I really would like to give them a I mean, I've done an overview on it and stuff like that, but on that, I don't have their decal or anything. And, you know, they did they did send me a fantastic reel, you know, and that's because we tried some other ones like the, the six gill reels and stuff like that. And we would break those pretty much the first fishing trip going out. And then um, this one is just outstanding. So definitely something to look at. <laughs> I definitely want to learn how to weld aluminum as well. Yes, that is something that, man, it's just, it could open so many doors for us here, you know, because there's a lot of things that I want and, you know, I, I have the ability or the, the, the time to be able to make it when I also have the, the machine and everything else to pretty much do it and or go rent it, you know, to make it happen, <laughs> to make it happen, so... Because right now, cost of labor with a lot of places is it's phenomenal. It really is. So trying to get somebody to build it for us is very costly. And even then, too, a lot of sponsorships that we would have had are um, we don't have because the amount of cost of materials and everything else, you know, all businesses have, have fallen on hard times. It's crazy. So can't really ask for much now. And that's another thing, guys. You know, a lot of people, and I see it all the time on Facebook where they're talking about they have, and they go out to all these convenience stores and they pay full price for everything, but when it comes to your buddy's shop or business or whatever it may be, you know, you're automatically asking them for a discount. And yeah, it's cool and everything, but at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're taking away from their pocket or their ability to feed their families. So just a heads up on that. You know, and you realize you go to Walmart and stuff like that, yeah, they do offer discounts occasionally here and there, but it's on their terms when they offer it. There we go, we got the 25 yards. And and I do appreciate a lot of the guys that have come and, you know, when I have had the opportunity to, you know, when they're buying a lot for combined gear or something like that, you know, I offer something like that and they're like, no man, you know, you, you need it for your family, you know, it really does. I do pay attention to that. That or, you know, when we can't get the gear fast enough because 
of shipping or and or funding you know waiting for it to all come through you know trying to get ahead of, of everything else you know they, they work with us man and those are the guys that really keep us in business and i'm truly appreciative of it so, definitely always try to pay it forward too when when the opportunity presents itself so yeah <laughs> Super glue well uh gorilla glue damn mad What's up Roger? How you doing boss? Sitting here spooling reels, this'll be reel number four that I've done. And I got three more after that. But I don't know if the phone is going to allow that because I just, when I took it down to show the last uh, video feed, it was pretty hot. So I don't know if it'll still go through. But we'll see. Let me go and knock this out and see where we're at. May have to disconnect real quick and then come back in a while once this one calms down. So. Hmm. Oh man, I, I did some chicken the other night. Man, I have to say it was it was real delicious, but a lot of people were like, dude, this tastes like turkey. <laughs> I'm like, it's chicken, they're like, it's turkey. And I was like, but I'll take the compliment, you know what I mean? It was pretty, pretty awesome. Really, really good. I didn't I didn't get no video footage of it from there, but I should have. It was just there was a lot of music playing, a lot of um, talking with everybody and stuff like that, so it was kind of hard to get it going. But, man, it was phenomenal. It was a great time with all the families. So it's great when they all can come together and have a great, great time. So that's what it's about. Yep, I got a trailer. I got a trailer. Hmm. <laughs> fox that i have not i've never tried fox i haven't tried fox or coyote i've had buffalo um what else ox um, i don't know if i've had bear yet i don't i don't, I don't remember that Curtis is having an early morning, that's for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is 80 pound, coming up on 100 yards on this Lexa 400. That's 100 yards of 80 pound on this Lexa 400, so yep, getting it. That's 150 yards, and still got room for more. Alright, 
back. I'm at 177 yards on this one. There we go. Yeah, there it goes. 177 yards. The glare. Glare is messing with the guys, so. Did you ever make a video of the Abbott reel? You had to fix the braid. Um, which reel was that? I've had to fix a lot of them. <laughs> You know what I was kind of thinking too, and and I haven't done the, I haven't posted the video, but um, the other day I was thinking about it, and I think I said it in the video, but I have not posted that video yet because I'm um, still working on a bunch of video. Is that when I go out and do these fishing trips, that for the guys that are commenting in the video and stuff, that I'm gonna start selecting guys out of the comments on those videos, and the leaders that are used during that video making, I'm gonna actually start sending those out. So that way they, you know, whether they're destroyed or not, or they make it through, just so people can see the actual leaders that I am using in the videos as props. How many of y'all would be interested in something like that? Um, during the solar eclipse, I gotta remember which reel it was that I had to fix the braid. Um, was that the one where the gentleman was saying that the the braid was causing the problem on casting and I down spooled it? If so I think I think that was the reel that we found out that the tape uh, that tape was uh, slipping on the inside of the spool and I think we called it myth busted on the tape if, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and it, uh, now here's the thing too. If I did that free tackle like that, obviously the guys that are uh, winning it would have to pay the shipping because <laughs> you know that, or you have to come pick it up. So you know it, it is coming out of our pocket for the the videos, but I think that would be cool because you know I, I got I got to thinking about it. You know we we watch all these movies and everybody buys the props from them and it's pretty cool. But I'm thinking maybe I will start giving it away so y'all can see the amount of destruction I have done with them obviously once I get back to the shop and I can show the guys what I'm doing because if I find something wrong with the leader and it was something that could have been avoided I want to use it as an instructional video for them all right let's see hold on real quick check something real do I do next hmm. let's do an LX do an LX real quick you got it you got it this is John Darnell's reel right here it's a green LX Raptor You gotta, you gotta hope, hope on that. All right, here we go. Got uh, 80 pound that we're gonna put on as uh, the starter for this line. Dang it!
Yeah, well, I mean, I have a welding unit here. I just don't have the knowledge of running it or anything like that. That's why it's a little hard to do it that way. It's a pretty cool color, the blue and green. Tamales and brisket for supper. Dang it. Or tamales for lunch and then brisket for supper. I did brisket the other day too. Um, it didn't last very long. It was a smaller one. And when the prices went through the roof, I was just buying whatever I could get my hands on. And I also had to wait for when they did have them on sale to get on those prices too. So we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah not the average guys it would be definitely be the leaders is what i'm talking about <laughs> i don't have that kind of money in in house you know to to be burning through average like that now you know if i get like mr b style and have uh have that kind of cash flow on there most definitely i would love to do be in that kind of setup to give away hundreds of reels every every couple of months you know Definitely. Hey, I like that idea. I really do. Use reels for this trip and then do a giveaway right afterwards of those reels. I like that. Mm -mm -mm. I definitely have to get up there where I'm making enough money to compensate for all of that because... <clears throat> yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> that's real expensive. But I like that better than what they do when they destroy, you know, a, a million dollar car in a in a machine where they, they chew it up or whatever or, you know, run it off a cliff or something like that. I, Yeah, I think that will be the future of the Team Hard Life YouTube channel. Buying uh, buying reels and using them for the, the fishing trip and then giving them away after the fishing trip. I like that. Well, you know, at the end of the day, yes, I'm doing a lot by putting my knowledge out there, but at the same time, without y'all being proactive with the channel, I would not be able to keep doing what I'm doing. So I'm very humbled by the amount of support and, you know, love that I do get in return from the channel. Again, guys, it's just, right now we just, I got to look for the bigger growth to, in order for me to keep doing what I do with y'all, so that way it can really help you know the guys that are working for me you know my ability to uh, spend more time with the family as well too because that's huge you know being able to do what you love but also to put your family first and you know being able to feed them you know is obviously putting family first so <clears throat> okay oh the green mxl Yes, I accidentally scratched that and I offered the gentleman to, to buy him another spool and he actually turned it down. He said no, that he was good to go because he, he knew what I had to do with it was a little bit outside the scope. But uh, yeah, no, I, I offered to replace it and uh, you know, he, he said he was good to go. So we spooled it up and what I did was I colored it with a black magic marker to keep the corrosion from getting in there and stuff like that. So. <clears throat> What's the thickness of what? Oh, okay, y'all are talking about the aluminum for the shark rack and stuff like that. Being here and being proactive with the channel, Curtis, is a great way to really show your support, too. 
um, Coming up on, this is 300 yards. That's 300 yards of 80 on there. And he wants a top shot, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop there and go to his top shot so he has a casting version right there. But you know what? Maybe I can go a little more. No, we'll get him 100 yards on there because he is casting with this one. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it right there. Let's see. No, there's a bunch of shark racks and they all are actually governed by the height of the truck. Um, there's several other racks that I have saw that I really like. And what it does is it gives you enough height that you can put the kayak between the rack and the truck. And I've really liked that because it allows you to set up the rack without having to pull down the kayak. Because there are times when you're just, you want to get up there and check the surf and stuff like that. And you can't really do it if the kayak is up there. It's really, really difficult. So, but And down spooling and doing it right. Um, I'm lost there, Homer. <laughs> mm. Yep, this is a pretty cool line, that's for sure. I like how it's two the two different colors so that way he can match it with the rod that if it has the, the that type of line on it and stuff, so very cool. And are you, are you, um, there was another reel, but it was a blue reel that, um, we did a video short on it showing that it was fully spooled up, but even when we had the clicker engage, it would not, it would not, um, engage the clicker. And yes, that, that video was done and we found out that the knot wasn't even tied to the spool or it wasn't tied correctly. It came undone real quick. Um, I just don't remember if it was a live video feed or it was a regular video that we did it. That was a long, long, long time ago. Hmm. Was, uh, was it the one where the tape was, was messing up? Homer, was it the video, was it the reel that had the tape that was slipping on the on the spool? The small piece of tape? And it had um, the gunk all the way around it? 
that we uh, Yeah, I remember the eclipse, but I'm, I'm trying to remember the situation as to why I had to unspool it and re-spool it. Was it the one that had the tape in the center of the spool? That's a, yards of braid on this rail. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Hmm. All right, guys. Yeah. No. Um. Like I said, Homer, I I need a little more memory jog. Was it the reel that had? Um, I, I don't remember boss to tell you the truth if it doesn't have sp something specific on it I don't remember but uh, because there was multiple times that I've done a lot of reels in the last few weeks and I haven't done a video on them um, but if it had something particularly eye catching like that tape one yeah I definitely did that one I just don't know if that was the reel that had the tape on there that was messed up. Um, I know a bunch of them that we have done that have came from other tackle shops such as Roy's that um, they've done mono on the bottom and it's popped pop right off or uh, even the braid that wasn't tied right and stuff like that popped right off. Um, uh, well, I appreciate that boss because yes definitely when I spool a reel I spool it as if I'm going to use it, you know, in that sense. And what I expect out of a reel to handle and what it should be done at is where I'm at. And I, I guess y'all saw that um, video too, where I we had a customer that was with me and we went out fishing and um, I ended up cutting the line on his reel because uh, it was overly filled. And that was because originally he wanted it set up for um, drone fishing. So, and that's why we had to cut the line because he was now casting it and I didn't figure that out until after I casted it and it just kind of sank in that what he was um, originally doing and stuff like that so yeah holiday in the house man they've been missing you <laughs> we all have so. now we got a 50 in gunmetal here Going, going through the reels, guys. Spooling real quick, trying to get all this out. And this will be reel number six, right? Yeah, six, seven. Yeah, that'll be reel number six. And getting it done while y'all are here, keeping me company. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was the reel that was called uh, Myth Busted. Yeah, because they had a piece of tape on there, and uh, it was only a piece, and you could see where it um, it drifted or slipped across the ar spool arbor all the way around, so it had that gunk, the black tape gunk, or uh, stickiness all the way around the spool arbor. So, yeah. We got an Abbott 50 and he wants 150 pound on there. We're doing 900 yards of that, and then we got some 200 pound, we got 200 yards of that. So we're gonna see how this goes real quick. Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, what is everybody's plans for Thanksgiving? I know everybody's getting ready for that. So. 
I decided if I'm going to do the turkey in house or on the. We were kind of thinking about deep frying it, but I don't know. I, I like the old school way of having the turkey completely stuffed with stuffing and cooking it in there because it gives the stuffing a whole nother flavor and it's so moist that way that I don't know. Just, it's just something about me that I like that. Hmm. I heard deep frying is, is the best. It comes out pretty moist that way, but I don't really have a lot of experience doing that and stuff. So, now my older brother Carlos, he does. He, he's done three or four turkeys in a day. You know, people, he was deep frying their turkeys for him and stuff like that, which is pretty awesome. There you go. See, and that was something that we used to do uh, as a kid growing up. Uh, after Thanksgiving, every year, we always took off fishing. Spend the rest of the night and day fishing. It was awesome. Ooh, I'm going the wrong way. Dang it. I don't know what, what I was doing, what I'm thinking right there, but yeah, I went the wrong way. Now, I know this because as I'm tightening this up, it's actually spinning the reel the wrong direction. So you're supposed to, and this is a great, great opportunity to teach y'all something real quick. If y'all are doing my knot and you engage it like this, as you pull on your your main line, it should go the direction it, the spool needs to spin. If you pull on the wrong way, see how the spool is supposed to spin that way? That's the incorrect way to spool on or tie on the anaconda knot. So right there, I tied it on incorrectly because I'm pulling on the back side of the knot. And it's not where it's supposed to be tightening up from. So I gotta take it off. Oh wow, I missed that sound. And go the other way. Let's see. 70 hours for four weeks. Man, that's some hours, bro. Hmm. And Jaime, I sent you pictures weeks ago of some rods for you to choose. I don't know if you got the text or not, but um, yeah, I sent it weeks ago. We had two or three of them for you to choose from. Um, I'm assuming now that you didn't get the, the text on that. And I will have to double check on the reel for sure. So the rod, yeah. Oh, we got two of them. I think it's two of them or three of them that you could choose from on the color scheme that you were wanting. So. Do uh. do. Oh man, I fell the other day when I went to the pier. I slipped, they had wood one direction, and then uh, it went the opposite direction as as part of where the way they laid the wood on the deck. And yeah, I ended up slipping pretty good. So, and here, here, here's the prime example right here. And that's the direction you can see is tightening and that's what you want. You want that knot to tighten that way. And actually, I gotta, gotta take it off a little bit because I got a little bit of slack over here in the line, in the knot, should I say. down 
down some, tighten this down some, and get it going. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I didn't know how what the temperature was out here because I haven't been behind the spooling station right now, but yeah, I guess they already answered that question. And then I know John and a few of the guys are out there fishing. I would like to make the ground to scop it, but I got a lot of stuff to get done to get caught up over here. I'm also editing a lot of the videos and getting that out because I had like 15 hours of footage and that is scaring me because I've already, it's already happened to me once where I had that much great footage and it all got lost. And the other night it was like that and we were tearing up the fish and then it was like the third night in is when the fishing died there was nothing to be caught but supposedly I heard they caught a lot of fish last night but a lot of the guys that I know reported in they didn't catch anything so Ray, what kind of fishing you do out there, Bob? Well, scrambler. XT, I would pick any day over the 11. That was the one that I couldn't even sit on without flipping. Uh, as the Cobra, I have not ever tried it, so I don't know anything about it, boss. And that's something, like I said, it's cool when they have these, uh, these days to go out there and play on the kayaks, because you get to try out all the different kayaks and stuff. And granted, it's in calm water, not in rough water, but Still something, you know. Oh wow, 27 spots. The only one red that I think with a lot of spots like that have always been little bitty ones. I didn't see, I haven't seen any big ones, but other, um, what I'm talking about is in person. I've seen, I've seen, you know, pictures of, you know, one red had like 200 spots, look like like a speckled trout, and they're also coming back saying that. They are believing it's a new species of redfish called a leopard redfish. So I don't know. It might be something to look into and stuff like that. I know a few guys were saying uh, off the local piers over here, um, Cold Park and Indian Point, that they were catching a lot of pup shark out there, black tips and baby hammers and stuff like that. So. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at their pictures because we were, uh, well, I was getting ready to go out for a meeting or something like that, so. Yep, because most redfish are just to have one, one or a few spots, but if they have a lot of spots, it's, it's you know, it's pretty cool looking. Yes, uh, Malibu was a shorter kayak it's the one that I, I have in the channel it was uh, the 12 foot kayak and we used it but I, I think I like the bigger one better Oop, this is moving on me I like the Old Town Predator 14 more than the Malibu uh, pedal drive on that one just because of my weight and size Yeah, I'm going 
cut that a little bit of end on because as you can see the stickiness of the tape when I go to try to splice it, it'll, it'll splice in and mess up the inner core braid. Seen that a few times, so I already learned now not to do it. <clears throat> but now he's going to 200 pound test, and it's supposed to be 320 yards, but I don't know if that's going to fit at all. <clears throat> oh, nice bull red, too. Very nice. <laughs> yep, it's a lot of reels, guys. A lot of yardage I've already done put out there, but I still got one more to go, and then I can be sit down for a little bit, take a shellac pill. But it's been a very strenuous day. <clears throat> Hmm. I think for a redfish for me, I think the most spots I've actually caught myself was like 12 spots. Um, one guy was saying that the reason that it has so many spots is because they were inbred. And I was like, wow. I said, well, I'm glad they don't come out with double heads or double fins. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke, but yeah. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I was pretty much thinking more that maybe it got some speckled trout DNA mixed in there, so I don't know, but I don't really see the more trout-like features on it, so it's very hard to even um, follow that through as it would be something to look at or a viable thing. Getting it done. That would be very interesting to, to, to check out for sure. Hey John, if you're still on here, how high do you want this reel? Because I still have I have quite a bit of line left. I mean, and I got a good amount of, of gapage there, but. Uh, do you want me to fill it up or do you want me to leave it like that? Are you still on here? Uh, might not be in commented in a minute. Let me call him. <clears throat> that it is, yes sir. All right, boss, so I'm doing your 50, and I've got 998, no, 948 yards total on the 50. Mm-hmm. It's level with the spool. I stopped there because I didn't know if uh, you wanted it overfilled or what. Yeah, I stopped there. Nine four nine forty eight. Yeah, I'm still live on the channel, so if you want to check it out. <clears throat> you get it? You catch anything yet? <laughs> mm, where y'all at? Oh, okay. All right. Well, let me know if you'll, you'll hook anything, bro. All right. Later. <clears throat> All right. So he's still wanting to put a small top shot of three hundred pound, but yep. 948 yards on the reel and we've got a small enough gap right there so <clears throat> not gonna give him much but I'm glad I stopped there because 
the math that he was coming up with, it should have been, it should have taken up this spool and the original spool and still have plenty of room left over, so. Right, let's see. There's that. And I'm not gonna do the, the splice loop at the end because he is gonna be adding on more braid to it, so he'll just use it like that. Now, got one more reel, guys. One more. I know it's torture to torture to watch me what uh, spool all these reels, but I got one more for y'all. It's gonna take 150 and 200 pound test, and let's see. I should open it somewhere else. <laughs> the empty spools of braid that I have piling up here because I'm spooling all these wheels is being a pain. <clears throat> now, here we go. There's the reel. It's upside down. Very nice. <clears throat> Jeff, how much are the 50s? There's $710 right now, but I think they're 10% off if I'm not mistaken. I think I have to double check. <clears throat> there you go. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, he's at the packery. Uh, he said he just got there, he was getting lines in, so that's why he wasn't able to answer when I called the first time. So we're doing the 150 pound, he's got 691 yards right here. Gonna start out with that. Then he's going to a 200 pound top shot. Go. Got the anaconda knot started. Did you ever get that Gomex reel? No. Are you talking to me? <laughs> hmm. yeah. Alright, Roger. You have a good one, boss. Stay safe, man. We'll see you very soon. Yeah, so definitely looking at some things for the channel, you know, doing a tournament is one. Um, sending off the tackle after a fishing video is two. You know, it's, it's a few things that we got in mind, and I, I see some of the guys that are liking those ideas for that. So I'm definitely interested in something along those lines because it would really... Um, show y'all the amount of testing that we do with all these these lines and leaders and stuff but also too it'll give me a chance to get the, a lot of the older leaders out of the tackle bag that i've been going through because a lot of the like i said a lot of the leaders that have been there they've been in there a long time because i never really change out my leaders i use them as far as i can go and i did it again dang it did it again this is very important right here tying the the, the loops around the uh, harbor in the correct direction will either make it or break your knot and if you don't do it and check it <clears throat> you will actually um, set yourself up for failure so let's go and knock this out real quick
Yeah, no, they have not brought the reel in. Um, I kind of remember something of the, the conversation, but not too much on it. I'm going to say, guys, we have had a very crazy, stressful last several weeks, and it's just getting... It's testing me. Definitely, 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 definitely testing me, so... Lewis, you have a good day, boss. Thank you very much for following. And again, like I said, I'm going to be trying some new things with the channel. And it's definitely geared towards paying it forward some more toward everybody and stuff like that. And, you know, I, I really like that idea, you know, that if I get big enough that I can donate the reels every time I go fishing, you know, that would be freaking awesome. I am really looking forward to that. And now that I've said it, I wonder how many fishing channels will actually do that. <laughs> I mean, it's all about getting new gear in and stuff like that. But then, too, it may also take away take away from the, the nostalgia of having the gear that has been there for a long time and used and used and used for that. Or maybe I can set up and, you know, instead of giving away my older reels, give away newer reels as we get them in kind of deal. But, again, it's only going to be to the YouTube subscribers and it's going to be to those who are proactive with the channel guys so um yeah I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it so no i did not see that that comment boss because once i get this pull in i have to kind of pay attention to what's going on over here rather than on the comments on the on the channel damn okay that don't feel right can freeze pull Damn, that's hard. Shh. Hold on, let me get a rag. Should not be that hard. Shh. That is hard. should not be that hard. I see this other T-Rex right here real quick. Yeah, see how easy that is? down or what? I mean, it's moving, I guess. I don't know. It's just being a pain in the butt. So, see how it goes. Well, it makes it through the spooling. We should be good to go. So, Okay, cool deal. Yeah. That, that is food for thought. I mean, obviously it won't be my Harrington's and Harnell's. <laughs> Sorry guys, it'll be the reels that I am using, but like I said, by then, you know, they'll all be new reels kind of deal. So, but we'll see. 
is something I'm thinking about. <laughs> I'm down to a few. <laughs> All right, let's see. Gilbert, yep. Well, we got a lot of them. I'll, I'll show y'all some of the tackle we got that Jeff and uh, has been really working hard on getting out there and stuff like that. So we'll definitely get it going. So they were they were giving it away, Edgar, on that lead, or were you you purchasing it? And I had 250 yards of the 150 pound test tight line on this 80 Abbott. Gonna keep it going. Oh, it looks pretty. here. I'm going to do 250, 500, 750, you know, a thousand just to give a little bit of speed on the video and stuff like that because the camera is really hot. I don't know if it's going to cut out or not, so I'm trying to get as much of it done as quick as possible. So going that way. I missed the 500, I meant 600 yards. <laughs> Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I know some places that sell lead raw, but they are pricey. It's like two to 225, 250 a pound for lead now it's getting re ridiculous and i sell a finished you know finished weight at like 250 275 and 
If I bought it for that price, I would nearly have to double my price just to be able to compete with making money. You know what I mean? And it would be really, <laughs> I think it would put me out of business if I had to make that leap and buy uh, the lead like that. Now, granted, it'd be clean and all of that and a lot less hassle, but dealing with a little bit of hassle, it, it won't, uh, it won't break me as much. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. <clears throat> That's the way it was the night before, or Tuesday. Tuesday when I went? Monday. I can't remember which day I went. I've, I've been going so much, but hey, you can definitely tell on the channel, too, when you look back at the videos of how many videos I'm putting out of fishing compared to the videos I'm putting out of spooling. And I think I'm just going to start doing that. Go live for a spooling video just so I don't have to go back and edit it and get it on there. And y'all can see the live action as it's happening. Especially like with all of these, I mean, that would have been a lot of videos, but uh, it's also double, double up when I have to edit every one of those real videos, so. Yeah, the, the lead is a great barrier for the x-rays um, and the x-ray machines and stuff like that. They use it in the walls. So, yeah. Yeah, when, when they add uh, that, that other product in there, I know I'm going to murder that if, uh, if I say it, but yes, it does make it harder um, and a lot more pricey, that's for sure. And probably a lot, lot uh, um, hotter that they would have to melt the material to make it uh, castable for that. Um, I can get you soft lid and, or... Um, with zinc and zinc does make it harder to harder as well too so the zinc uh for our molds really sucks it, it sticks to them it doesn't allow them to come out but also it throws off the weight of the uh of the lead as well another one that's real high price is uh bismuth that was actually an, an alternative to the lead product without all the cancer side effects That's 750 yards of the combined braid now. The red braid is 200 pound test. Oh yeah. Guys, there's a thousand yards total on here, and we're gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, I know Bismuth was. I remember when I priced it out about 10 years ago, it was about $17 a pound. Um, and to tell you the truth, I don't know how the zinc would react in a rifle barrel. Um, I know, I want to say in the molds, once it solidified, it actually shrunk down. So there were certain molds that we could not put it in because once it cooled down, it shrunk.
All right, that's 1,250 yards. And we're still gonna go and finish this out. that that did not feel good at all yep that's not good all right here we go there's a strand that's tight on all of this you can see the bumps see the bump like that one of the carriers is tight See how far it is. Good. Starts about right. Starts about right here. And even then too, I can see a couple of the strings busted. Let's see where it's at. There it is. See, I'm, I'm pulling the line. One of the strings is busted right there. And it goes all the way. Let's see. Let me zoom out some so y'all can see what's going on. Is that as far as it goes? I don't know. It goes from there to there. That's about two yards of line that we're going to have to cut out because I'm not going to leave that in there. That was something that we also found in a Jerry Brown hollow core, but it, their whole spool was like that. And then that's another reason why I stopped dealing with Jerry Brown too, because years ago I ran into that issue where there was something wrong with the spool and me being who I am, you know, I was telling them that, hey, something's wrong with the spool, y'all need to send me another one spool. They're like, no, you got to send that one back or pay for another one before we can send anything to make sure you know what you're talking about, kind of deal. Like, really, bro? I've already been spooling your braid for X amount of years. And I've been finding and, and, you know, coming to you with your problems and stuff like that so you can fix them. And instead of, you know, owning up to it and sending another spool overnight for, to get this customer out of here, you want me to ship it back to you on my own dime just to verify what I'm already telling you before you would send me another spool. So, and sometimes they'd forget, like, I would have to call him back. I'd say, hey, man, I'm still waiting on this book. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Let, we'll get it out today. And, you know, it's crazy. That's why with Tightline Braid and Cortland are the two braids that have really showed 100% customer. You know, they, they, do, they take care of their customers. So, and like everything else, everything on the market, they'll, every, it's, you're bound to run into some kind of problems or issues. You cannot be there a whole, you know, a thousand percent of the time to watch every single crimp or every single, you know, braid go on and stuff like that. So stuff is going to happen. Now, I do know that Tightline has implemented some um, stuff to their gear. And actually, this is going to be something we can tell them, too, because this this symbol right here shows that they have had a QC pass. This quality control is they have an x-ray machine or not an x-ray but a laser that the line goes through and if they find any kind of gunk or filth in it or something like that it stops the laser or stops the machine and lets them know that the braid is bad in that position and look you can see it right here as I, as I scrunched it up there it is there's the broken carrier right there y'all see it guys See, I knew there was something wrong with the carrier, and I just found it, and it was a foot away from this side right here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut that out, along with the other section over here, just in case uh, Jeff at Tightline wants to see it. You know, it's right there. So. All right. This side was good. Let me go ahead and get, get back on it. There we go. 
I'm gonna put this back on. Okay. Yep, nope, this is this is very important to the fishermen at the end of the day. Like I said, I, if I'm a tournament fishing and I find something wrong with my line, it can cost me tens of thousands of dollars in losses, and I'm not willing to sacrifice a penny of that knowing how much effort it took to get out there you know just because the line fails or something's wrong with it and granted you know everything every company i don't care who it is and tell you all oh, we have a hundred percent customer satisfaction da, da, da. i guarantee you that something along the way somehow something got broke something got missed and you know they got it fixed cool deal awesome but they can't say that every single time thousand percent that it's always going to be perfect i know we make mistakes here but i own up to them i show y'all and you know we we change it we improve it i'd like to see any other tackle company out there be able to say the same thing that we have done other than oh no we got perfect gear every time <laughs> sorry i was born at night just not last night <laughs> yes guys we definitely need new subscribers we need to keep sharing the 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 uh, subscription of the channel to get new subscribers and more viewers on the channel because again guys without y'all doing what y'all do i could not keep doing what i do here and like i said guys i'm really i i like that idea you know to be able to start giving away reels and rods and tackle and stuff like that and be that I want to be that YouTube channel. I want to be that guy that sends it all out. So, but I do need y'all support. Need y'all's help. And uh, to do that, we need a lot more subscribers. So definitely be sharing the link, which, which means we're also coming up on our 25,000 subscriber mark giveaway. And it's going to be strictly off of those who shared the channel and shared the uh, screenshot of doing that to. The, e the team hard life number one at the uh, gmail.com Ooh, there's something else and it's right there can y'all see that let me let me get it to the side Look. right there you see that guys there's something else there let me see that take it out come on did I pull it out already let me see. Nope, it's right there. Okay. You know what? Before I do all that, hmm. so I'm at real quick before I take that out. 1400 yards of braid on the reel that's a mixture of the 100 and 130 let me see Hold on. i guess that's as far back as it goes hmm. i thought it went farther back than that but i guess not let's see right there okay is that a splice or is that my splice on there it might be <laughs> catching my own work <laughs> I think it might be let me see yeah I think I think that was it
Yeah, that's my splice. Okay. All right, all right. I'm, yeah, I'm just double checking, double checking. So again guys that's 1399 yards i'm not going to put the end loop because he's going to be adding on more braid once he gets home and we are good to go there so all these reels got spooled up while we were live and let's see how long were we on for two hours <laughs> a little over two hours Alexa 400s, there's two of those that we did. Alexa 300s. LX Raptor. 50 wide EXW2 speed. And 80 wide. Right there. Long day, long day. So I'm gonna give you a quick walk around to show you the gear that's been coming out for the guys that have been asking. Let's get this real quick. One more time double drop drum leaders we're closing those out because we got the new ones coming in so those are almost gone which would be awesome then we did them in catfish rigs got single drop uh, drum rigs right there those only have one hook per liter you got it coated cable no rolls egg weights in both cable and uh, monofilament got them in egg weight and no roll leaders got trout and flat rigs there all of those over there as well and then all the pompano leaders that uh mr jeff and eugene have been putting out bunch of different colors right there guys bunch of bunch of colors and we got our redfish rigs right there and our jack Crabelle three-way shorts three-way longs that's a lot of leaders guys <laughs> so whenever you're ready got my cell line buckets there 30 hook setups. Oh, there's a leader in there. I got to get that out of there. Right there. Got cannonballs. Got surf weights. Right there. Got 330 seconds. We're cutting the wire for these because we're going to be building a lot of those. We're going to be filling all of that up here pretty soon. Then we got our 1 8 gauge. Excuse our bags. We left them here so people can fill up their bags when they're ready to buy purchase tackle. Those are 1 8 gauge. 12 ounces, 3 pounders, 24 ounces, 20 ounces, let's see, yep, 15 ounces, 3 pounders, 10 ounces, 13, 1 pounders, yep, then you got all of our casting leaders as, as usual, <laughs> remember how many were there, we sold quite a bit of them, so we got to stock back up all the different colors of leaders right there for sure bull red big black drum yeah yeah 
Mr. Jeff bending wire away getting ready we got our coin weights right there got our uh, claw weights uh, no rolls down there I think we'll probably move those up one just because the storm weights haven't really been selling so we kind of stopped making those we had one company buying them but then they stopped so I guess they finally realized they don't really work then we got pyramids bank weights pair, pair weights and egg weights yep that's for sure oh guys i so i do appreciate y'all all watching the channel and being proactive again guys we gotta hit more subscribers so anything y'all can do to help us out get more subscribers on there will really be grateful for all of us because uh like i said with the more that i get subscribers the more sponsors come in the more tackle that we can give away like i said once they start giving it to me you know i'm turning around giving it to y'all so you know, I definitely want to fill up the whole thing and move or move to another shop, a bigger one. Like I said, I've already seen it. I kind of got my eyes set on it, but I need some help, guys. And without y'all, we couldn't do what we do. So again, guys, thank you very much. Without, like I said, without y'all, we can we can keep growing. So everything and any which way you're able to share the channel link for more subscribers, do it. Take a screenshot of it, send it to teamhardlife number one at gmail.com, and we can really get more subscribers that way and stuff like that. So again, 25,000 subscriber mark is giving up is coming up. So you cannot buy your way in, you can only earn your way in. So later guys, y'all have a good one. Okay, come on. So wants to go.